so I got bored, played around with makeup. Even though I have nowhere to go. And I went out today and didn't have my makeup. I love how so many people in Japan love gardening. Look at all those flowers! Oh my gosh! Of course, you have the classic azaleas. They're everywhere. what my flower beds look like. Um, yeah, kind of a jungle. I really like those like salmon colored flowers. Pretty sure they're wildflowers. I see them like everywhere, but they're so pretty. I love them. <laughs> I wish I had some in my yard. Here is dead, <laughs> but I pulled a lot of the weeds out and put them there. I'm gonna try to plant some things soon. I want to do like a vegetable herb garden kind of thing. Okay, now I'm going to show you what I got from 7 Eleven. I got all new things, so all of these are the uh, new sellers or, you know, limited edition brand new things. Okay, so the first thing is chocolate hazelnut banana crepe Starbucks drink. It totally caught my eye in their drink section and I just had to try it. So I'm going to have this for dessert. This one, soy milk tea. I love milk tea. But I wanted to try this to give a review to people that are vegan or lactose or just don't want to drink normal milk. So we'll see how this tastes. Next is lots of exclamation points. Cheese, cheese, cheese. <laughs> cheese, cheese, cheese. Pork sausages and cheese roll. I don't know why there's a plural on that, because there's only one wiener in there. 7-Eleven always has these burritos, and I am obsessed with them. <laughs> I get them quite frequently, uh, especially when they come out with new ones. So this one is a new one, and it is pork, sausage, cheese, and salsa burrito. So we'll see how the salsa tastes. Usually they have a pork sausage and uh, like chili kind of thing um, but this one is with salsa so this here the W they use for they used to mean double so double wiener and salsa so there's two wieners and I guess extra salsa so I'm gonna be trying these and lastly I got these uni mamire aji chips so, uni is sea urchin. Ta-da! I'm not a big fan of the sushi, but I don't hate it. So, I wanted to try the chip version, and we'll see how that goes. The main reason why I want to shoot a video today is because I got this! It was only like $12 on Amazon. 
So here's what the tripod looks like, all extended. So this is how tall the tripod is. Hmm. I like it. So first I will try the chips. Smells like potato chips, but like salt, like the, like the like oceany salty, like not super fishy, but like something from the ocean. Wow. I don't hate it. I'm just trying to describe the taste. Kind of sweet, but like not like sugary sweet. I don't know, but they're not fishy. I like them. They're like weird, but a good weird for me. So these, these are good. Okay, let's go for the burrito. It was pretty dry because it was the first bite. Kind of tingly. It would be spicy for some people, but not me. Mm. It's mostly just the sausage and the cheese. I prefer the chili one because it had more like sauce and stuff. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, it's okay. Okay, now for the hot dog. Whoa. So the cheese is like all on the side. It smells really cheesy. Oh, I think I see some mustard seeds on there too. So they did put a sauce and not just cheese. Mm-hmm. Just tastes like a cheesy hot dog. <laughs> Slight hint of mustard, but not a lot. Okay, for the sake of this video, I'm going to try everything. And then I'm going to cut it and actually eat them. Okay, so here it goes with the chocolate, hazelnut, banana, crepe. I wonder if they have pieces of crepe in here. So I have a straw. Put it through the dome. Poke it through. Move it around a bit. I smell banana. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Pieces of grapes and hazelnuts. All the nuts are hitting the back of my throat. So mostly nutty, banana-y, and creepy. I don't really taste the chocolate so much. It's good though. Definitely a dessert thing. What? It says chocolate hazelnut, but here it says crushed almonds. I knew that didn't taste like hazelnut. So I guess it's just hazelnut flavoring with crushed almonds. Mmm. Um, banana piece, not pieces, but like pulp, banana pulp. Oh, huh. okay. I'm going to save this for dessert. Let's try this soy milk tea. Plant time. I think this is so cute. Plant time. Oh gosh. Tastes like milk tea, but 
You can taste more of the tea than the milk, obviously, because it's not like real milk. The tea and the milk are very light flavored. I've tried a lot of milk teas in the convenience stores here. And some of them are more stronger than others, and some of them are more milkier than others. This one is a very light on both. I wouldn't say it's like amazing, but it's not bad. Okay, so now I'm going to eat my food. And we'll see what else I'll do for this video. So I got bored, played around with makeup. Even though I have nowhere to go. And I went out today and didn't have on makeup. Whatever. I say I play with makeup, but I don't really have that much makeup to play with. So, friends, if you're watching, next time you want to buy me a present, makeup please. I have like two, three. I have like three eyeshadow palettes. And they're all basically the same colors in each one. Help. Here's my nail polish collection. It's quite sad considering what I used to have back home in America. Um, and I recently threw out a lot because of some that I brought from America were just not usable anymore or completely dried up. So today I'm going to do this purple ombre. So from dark to light to white. And I'm going to use these little nifty things that I got from Daiso. They wrap around your fingertips so it won't leave your fingers messy. And I've already used them once. Let me see some are missing. Here. It comes with 14. I don't know why 14, but that's the number they decided on. Uh, so this means it is easy to fit your finger and it is a stretchable material. And they really are stretchy. Like... I've never used something so help so helpful before for doing nails. I need to buy these often. Okay, here we go. try and try again. <laughs> yeah. Ombre is tricky or gradient or whatever you want to call it. Because the sponge soaks it all up at first. So you kind of have to do it a couple of times for it to start actually working. Here it is. It's messy, but whatever. It looks good from far away. <laughs> okay, so this is without me cleaning up the edges because there wasn't much to clean up anyway because I used the thingies. And I added a little star jewel on the side of my thumb. Twinkle. Okay. So, to wrap up this video, I want to make an announcement, as you can see behind me here. I have this lovely sign that I drew, wrote, uh, and it says Making Connections. That is the name of my new channel. So, my new channel is called Making Connections. Um, I'll tell you more about the channel in this video here please click and go watch it my intro video to my new channel subscribe please so anyone who's a 
anyone who's a subscriber to this channel, my personal channel, please go over there and subscribe as well, because it's new. I need followers and subscribers, please. Anyway, so that was my uh, new announcement. So this vlog has been about new things. Uh, new things from the convenience store, uh, a new tripod, and new nails or nail art things. Thank you for watching and please go to my other channel and subscribe there and I will see you again soon. Bye!